Welcome and are you ready to get creative? Okay, this opportunity is one that I came across about a year and a half ago when I was in Spain and I started talking to someone else and then I ended up going on a couple of tours and I found out how you can become a tour guide. Uh, some of these people make really fantastic money. We're talking 10, 12, $13,000 a month giving tours and having fun. And so I'm going to talk to you now how you can do this. I went through the process um, on Airbnb and I loved it. Um, there are a couple other websites that once you get your Airbnb one going, you can kind of add those in. Um, but this is all about becoming a tour guide and hosting an experience from your own home or around your neighborhood or your community. This is flexible. So you can absolutely choose uh, that you want to give these tours on Fridays only or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday in the mornings or the weekends or you'll you'll figure out what works best for you. You can make up to 10,000 even more a month if you're really awesome at it and you work the system and you work it uh, like a full time gig or you can make 100 bucks a week or 200 bucks a week. It depends on you. It's all up to you. Again, this is one of those opportunities where it's as much time or as little time as you want to put in. You're probably going to invest maybe $100. You really don't have to invest anything. Um, you can start with zero literally off of Airbnb. You don't need to put any money into this to begin your process going. Uh, you probably will want to invest a little something like tchotchkes or something to hand out to the people at the end that's going to get you tips and uh, high ratings. And you need those high ratings to, to get more people to take your tour or your experience. Um, what, where, when, why? Um, this is so flexible. The idea here is to create a great opportunity for people who are traveling to see your neighborhood or even people that live around you, near you to do something with you. Some of the things that I have done on Airbnb are uh, a pottery class in someone's home studio. I did a, um, a, a beautiful silk painting class uh, that was right in someone's living room and they had eight of us there at $50 a pop or whatever. So you do the numbers, two hours of their day. They made some coffee, gave us a little bit of Danish. We sat there and played around and, and then we left. Uh, great opportunity. And the person obviously is an artist and, and a silk artist. So uh, they were making extra money doing what they did, loved. And people bought some of the, the scarves and took them with them. Um, so just great opportunities. Um the nice thing is that you really want to get unique and creative. The more unique you can get with this opportunity, the more money you can make. It's also fast money. Once you have done the tour within the next day, you will have the money in your PayPal the very next day. So know that it is that fast of a turnaround. So you do the tour. The next day you have the money. It's over. Um, you can grow your audience in a very quick amount of time by being unique, being friendly, giving them something that they feel that they couldn't get anywhere else, building a connection and getting great reviews. Um, and so, you know, I have some tour guys. I took a tapas tour in Spain and that guy literally gives them every single night of the week to about four to six people every day at 50 bucks a pop. He only works for two, three hours a day done makes great money he gives them a, a couple other tours on the weekends um then i i did a horseback tour um and that was 150 dollars. so just kind of know and then i did also i did a a, a a a tour through granada just like this walking street tour and we had 18 of us at 50 dollars a pop for that two hours and they just gave us little microphone things to listen to 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 our interpreter or our tour guide she gave us microphones to listen at 18 of us 50 bucks a pop she's doing that every day of the week morning and night morning and afternoon and that's her gig that's her life so talk about great income opportunities here also um how much can you make? We just kind of talked about it. You know, you. I think that the sky is the limit. It depends on what you do. There are, if you're really good at this on Airbnb um, and TripAdvisor or uh, Vidor.com or whatever, um, Booking.com, all of these opportunities are here to 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 um, put your tour up. Um, 
Airbnb, if you do a really killer tour, they will invite you to do adventures. And adventures, people are paying upwards two, three, four thousand dollars to do an adventure. So you could legitimately make this your lifetime business, uh, especially if this is something you love. If you love people, um, or or you have a little theatrical flair, or maybe you're an artist and you want to invite four people three times a week up to four people or 10 people or whatever, three times a week into your studio and teach them how to do what you're doing. Great opportunities here. Um, uh, the time here, this, the, there are a couple components that, that take a lot of time from this. Number one, you've got to set up your actual profile and you're going to need to get photos of your uh, experience and what that's going to look like, or the tour you're going to want to, um, be able to have that mobily so that you can respond. Uh, the, the tough thing about Airbnb and uh, uh, TripAdvisor, you're going to get emails constantly. And so you're going to want to respond to them immediately. The faster you respond, the more likely they're going to book your tour instead of someone else that has a similar tour. Um, remember, people only have so much time, so much money. And so they might be looking at uh, a walking tour or doing art or doing sangria tasting all at the same time. And whoever gets back to them faster and sounds cooler, that's where they're going to do that evening. So know that time is money. And so managing the bookings is one thing. So creating your profile, managing your booking, making sure it looks great. That's one piece of time. The other piece is the amount of time you put in to actually give the tour um, or, or create the experience with the person. Um, and, and so this can be, this can take a little time. This could be like a full-time job almost. I mean, um, if you're an actor though, in LA on the weekend and you want to give some, the, uh, a haunted tour of, of the streets of, you know, of the downtown streets of LA, go for it. You can make great money on this. Or um, let's say you're a, a work from home parent and you have a really killer um, hobby that you love. Um, maybe that's, uh, or maybe you're a work from home parent that's also a coach and you want to teach someone how to um, do soccer. I mean, there are so many different opportunities here. You, Get creative, do your thing and make it unique to you. And that's the thing that's going to sell this is, it has to be unique, uh, unique, 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 period. That's what sells this. And you're going to make some great cash from this. Um, things that you need to have great photos, a killer itinerary. You, you're going to need to meet with any location or place that you go to ahead of time. You're going to need to have supplies. You may need insurance or business licenses for some cities, a lot of them don't require it, but some may. So you just need to kind of know what those rules and regulations are uh, based on your city. More than likely, they're not going to require much because you're just having people into your house three and four at a time or, or, or maybe a little bit more. Or you're going out on a canoe or something like that with them. Um, the investment could be from zero to a few hundred dollars. You know, I, I've gone on, I did a, um, I took my mom on a boat tour down the streets of Venice this last year from an Airbnb experience. Um, and the person gave us wine and a refreshment and picked us up. And, and so it, it was a little extensive, which was fantastic. And, you know, and I paid a hundred dollars, uh, per person for it, but, um, but it's a great opportunity and, and, and people are willing to pay. If, if there's extra add-ons or it feels like it's an experience, especially if it includes um, some food. Like if you're going to give an art class and you get, you know, some fresh cooked um, muffins with some coffee or tea or a special hibiscus tea or something like that, um, that's going to make all the difference. Those little things. I did, uh, I did um, this last year, I did a cooking class in, in Valencia in Spain and they gave us the hats and they gave us all of the like recipes and the like a little spoon to take with us and so they kind of included a bunch of extra little add-ons um, and it was worth it we, we paid more money because of it and so just know this is a great opportunity the more unique you make it the better off it is um, 
find the fun in this. Like I said, um, I've taken walking tours. Uh, I've done horseback riding, tapas, uh, coffee, chocolate, art classes, cooking classes. All of these I have found right on Airbnb, which is right what I'm going to tell you about here in just a minute on where to go. So you're going to go right on Airbnb and set up your little profile and get this ready to rock and roll um, and start making money immediately. Uh, Your space, make sure that it's a safe space and you put things away that you don't want people to touch. or or Most people are very, very kind with everything. I I found that with Airbnb in general. You'll see um, in another module, I'll talk about how you um, one of some great other ways to make money with Airbnb, but, um, the people are very kind. However, just make sure that you're conscientious of yourself because you want to protect yourself at all times. Um, also just, just, uh, you know, make sure to notify the merchants, uh, where you're going, that you're coming so that they know, you know, a lot of times, um, you know, when I did the chocolate tour in Spain, uh, they notified a, ahead of time, and they made room for us. They made sure that we were available to get in. And so that's great added perk. And when they know you're coming and you come consistently, they're going to add little extra things. Like the coffee tour, letting us become baristas is a great added little something that um, I'm not going to get every day. Like I couldn't become a barista at a really killer, fun coffee shop down in Hermosa Beach um, in California but I can for a morning. And especially if I plan my tour around it, around it at the right time, I talk to the owners, they tell me to come at uh, 11 o'clock. So I do a wine uh, or the coffee tasting tour at 11 and included in that is barista or maybe it's at 1030 or something. So, I mean, get creative with these ideas and add something, add value. That's great. Okay. These are the places where you can do this. I would start with Airbnb. It is the easiest to set up your profile. Uh, it, uh, pays the quickest. Um, they also send out an email every single day to every single person that is staying in your area in an Airbnb. We'll get a little email that says, have you thought about experiences today from Airbnb? And, um, so they are really pushing those. Um, I saw them just first a year and a half ago. And now in the last year and a half, I've taken several. I've hosted one, um, a little canoe tour that I host. So, so, I mean, you have this great opportunities here, here to do some fun stuff. Um, uh, TripAdvisor, almost everyone after they've done Airbnb goes on to TripAdvisor and sets up a profile on TripAdvisor as well, because it's great money. And if you have both going on, you're going to be full. Um, and then orbits of course, and Viator, Viator and TripAdvisor work hand in hand, but you, so you'll want to set up on both. And then booking.com is a great place to also, um, make sure you're represented. Um, okay. A few, a little helpful items, have your own transportation or a meeting place that is secure and well-marked because you need to the more clear it is where they're going to meet you and how they're going to get to your experience, the, the, the happier they will be. And you want them to be happy because they might even give you a tip. You know, sometimes people tip 20 bucks or 30 bucks on a tour or something. Um, critical things to know, um, you're rated on everything and your rating is critical. So you, don't have the ability. You cannot afford to make someone frustrated with you. Uh, so make sure you're always getting great ratings. And, and that's just by great communication. It's very simple. You don't have to do anything special. Great communication, build a quick bond, and make sure they're enjoying themselves. That's it. You know, the giving the extra little things just adds a little bit of sweetness to the pot, but it's not critical at all. Um, It'll probably take you a good three to six months to really get to where you want with this because you're going to need to, if there's someone that has a similar offering, you're going to want to undercut it a little bit um, or, or, or put the, a low price in at the beginning so you can get a bunch of people doing it and then, and then slowly increase your price. Um, Once you get 10 to 15 ratings though on Airbnb, You go through the roof so quickly. So um, just know that your goal is to get about 15 good ratings in and then you're done. You know, I think on on my house here, because I rent out a room when I'm home, I have 180. And so now it's like no brainer. People are just constantly, I I never have a moment when I don't have someone around. Um, Unless if I 
specifically block that they don't want someone here or whatever. Um, and then make it unique, uh, make it unique. And, or if you could be the first to the market, both of those things are, are huge advantages for you. Um, and so that's it. Uh, get out there, have fun and do a tour or three, uh, make some extra cash and do it. Uh, enjoying your life. Um, again, build your dreams or someone else is going to hire you to build theirs. Um, keep on trucking. Best of luck.